With the front wheel off, you will see two cables running from the upper fender to the steering knuckle. One will go to the caliper. That is the brake wear sensor. The other cable is the ABS wheel speed sensor and attaches to the steering knuckle. Use a 10 mm wrench, red arrow, and remove the bolt holding it to the knuckle. You will need to release the harness from the retaining clip, indicated by the yellow arrow, as you go. The bolt securing the sensor is micro-encapsulated as indicated by the red arrow. So if you're reusing it, you should clean it up and use a little blue Loctite on it when reinstalling it. Use a small flathead screwdriver and slip the old sensor, red arrow, from its mount. Use the same small screwdriver and remove the metal clip, red arrow, retaining the connector in the mount on the inner fender well. Pull the connector from the mount and separate the brake wear sensor from the ABS sensor, red arrow. Move to the rear of the car. With the wheel off, you can see the speed sensor on the forward part of the hub. Use an E10 reverse torque and remove the bolt, red arrow. It too is micro-encapsulated and should be cleaned up and reinstalled with a little blue Loctite. You will need to remove the wire from the retaining clip, yellow arrow, as you go. Remove the wiring harness from the retaining clips, red arrow, and follow it up to where it joins the connector under the rear axles. Use a small screwdriver and release the clip retaining the connector, same as on the front, and pull the harness from the connector. Installation is the reverse of removal. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.